All right, 28.6 in zero WAR. The front firing speaker by adding an air or Speaker and uh, opens up the, the external. So you can't have both then. Both speakers working. KE0AAZ and 0WAR. Uh, it says right on here both speakers could okay. not be enabled at the same time. Whoops, sorry about that, Gary. I was tuning up there in zero WAR testing. 10 meter digital simplex. Oh, Gary, awesome test. Awesome. Uh, Jim and uh, Tom wanted to know what it here sounded like. So I did some recording on the uh, CSU machine, the 440 repeater a minute ago. I'll put that in there. I'll put this on there. Comparing it to the uh, turbo over here, which Tom says ain't apples to apples, which it ain't, but it's some kind of an audio test experiment. So yeah, say something. We'll see what it sounds like here. Turbo, two meter, in zero AOL, Fort Collins, ICOM IC7100, 10 meter DV, digital, simplex with Garino. Programmable pins, program them to do different things, in and out. There's Thomas, K1TJ, Fort Collins, yapping with Jim, in 7 VDR. Let's check it out. You can wire your D104 to the back of it. Got the gear keeper, awesome, on the tower right above the shack. Gary, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, you want to try 80 meters real quick just for the heck of it? Well, we could. Uh, 80 meters might be a flying right over his head, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know you have a speaker, probably just a speaker. Sometimes, you know, since we're so close. Um, but uh, we can, we can try, uh, it's hard to do better for, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 meters, we can try it up. I'd fly over each other's heads too. It's just, you know, it's hard to tell. Um, that's the only reason the audio or the uh, issue was any uh, level of difficulty. Did you hear the other station? That's what he was uh, enjoying. Uh, that's what he was always saying, like a flex radio. So uh, that was kind of cool there. I think uh, it's probably better when you stay here. I think it's better when you stay here. I think it's better when you stay here. In the shower, the kids wake up when they eat in the shower. We're going to go into town. Uh,
Marcos just texted me a picture. Look at me. Gary, no sweat. Yeah, I wanted to try it. We do that whenever. No, I think 80 would be fine. That's what it's for. Local, right? Yo, you just Google it. All right, dude, we'll try whenever. I'm glad to try this for the uh, YouTube video the test of the. Uh, Service bullets and pups, right? Yeah. Uh, audio yeah, comparison here to connected. see what it's like yeah, here. So in zero W A R K E zero A Z on uh, the new one of the new IC seventy one hundreds here in the shack. Just to compare the audio with the uh, Moto Turbo repeater here. In zero W A R. Yeah, actually, thanks you a lot, got man. the whole speaker. Speaker already wired with the plug. In zero W A R K E zero A Z. I'm not sure that's all. Have a, is that just a speaker that's plugged into that DB26 or? There's a Motorola speaker on the tower section. Does it have a shack programming cable for the on it as well? D-Star Icom here. We're using the Motorola stock speaker for this one. Gary sounds good, no problem. Just filming a little more here, giving a show and tell on the shack here a little bit. It's been forever it's since I updated this. Oh, I think Tom and Jim's talking to me over there. Hey, no problem, I'll let you go ahead and do that. And, uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you here on Digital Voice Mode. And you were correct. He says you, you can mod it. Or back in my, uh, yeah, it's speaker. Uh, to you, or do I need to make an adjustment on my app? Oh, no, no cutouts, no nothing. Gary is, I don't know, how far are you? Five miles away from here, probably. Still here in Loveland, Fort Collins area, just for uh, FYI. So no, uh, no cutouts, no nothing. I don't know what you are, t 10 or 20 over here. I'll look at the thing here. Gary, thanks a lot, man. I'll post this on my YouTube channel here. Update of the box here. It's been forever. All right, talk to you soon. Don't work too hard. I'll listen for you wherever else here. Thanks a lot, man. In zero W A R. Now the newer generation plastic ones. I like the old ones, the old metal ones. I always thought those sounded really good. I had a old realistic uh, Pro 2006 scanner hooked up to one of those. It was pretty amazing. So I think the internals are pretty similar. They're just a, they're a real sensitive speaker. It doesn't take a lot of power to make them loud. All right, thanks for the experiment, you guys. Anything else you want to say here? He's doing D-Star and the uh, turbo experiment. I got Gary on 10 meters simplex a minute ago. Into 10 meters or something? I doubled you. <laughs> I got nothing more to say. And my question was, is you had us patched into 10 meters? 
Tom, fine, fair enough. Jim, no. I was over there with uh, Gary, KE0AZ, on 10 meters digital simplex, uh, doing a comparison. So I'm about done here. Just wanted to yap with you guys for a second before I cut this and upload it to YouTube here. Copy that. Well, let me know when you get her uploaded. I'll check it out. I should get notified because I subscribe to your channel. Okay, cool. I'll cut her here and uh, throw her on there. Thanks a lot. And yeah, I'll put that on there in a bit. Just throwing it on there pretty much right out of the camera here. In zero, W-A-R. Thanks a lot. And seven VDR. Hey, one PJ. Yeah, the other part of the equation is I don't have to text anybody to get them to talk to me here. There's just always somebody here. All right, that's a wrap.